This is why Twitter's so amazing. It's people like car dealership guy. This is a random CEO within the automobile industry, and he shares insights into the industry for free just to give people more information. And he has a big warning for you. He thinks that there's going to be a massive wave of car repossessions coming in 2023. Over the past two years, people took out exorbitant loans on cars, but since the value of those cars declined, he now thinks that a lot of people are underwater on their loans for their vehicles. So many of the people that are underwater on their vehicles want to get new vehicles, and that's leading to this scenario. Customer goes to the dealership to trade the car, but because the customer owes way too much on it, the dealer asks the consumer for lots of money down to cover the difference. But of course, the customer doesn't have thousands to cover the difference between what they owe on the car and what it's worth. So the dealer can't sell a consumer a car, the consumer can't buy a car, and the lenders aren't financing the car. So everyone loses. But actually, a new practice has started where they're waiving the open auto stipulation, meaning the lender lets the consumer buy the car knowing that they already have an open auto loan with another bank. So the lenders are actually letting people take loans even though it's high credit risk and high default risk. They know that these people are likely to default on their first loan for their first vehicle, but don't care because they know they'll pay the second one, or at least they're hoping they'll be able to pay the second one. And he thinks the implications of this will be tons of repossessions. And he actually thinks we're gonna see this wave of car repossessions hit in early to mid 2023. Lenders are backstabbing each other to, in order to put more loans on the road and we're in trouble. It will not be pretty. And I actually agree with everything he's saying here, if it is true. I think though that it's very likely to be very true. It makes sense with what we're seeing going on in the markets right now. This is another case of greed leading to disaster.